up guys we are back with some more dragon balls doken battle videos and guys we have some footage of the man at 100 percent the new blue evolution vegeta now he's actually super saiyan blue vegeta he does have the transform encounter where he transforms to his evolved form you know once the requirements are meet uh what the requirements are is that he has a 30 percent chance to go into his royal blue or ultra blue form once four turns uh is exceeded so at the fourth turn is a 30% chance, which 30%, I mean, I kind of wish it was a little bit higher, 40, 50%. I mean, 30% is on the lower side of things, but uh, it's not too terribly bad, honestly. So uh, enjoy the footage while I talk about the car because this car is actually quite fun. Uh, very, very interesting unit, and he does have some very good perks going for him, guys. So if you didn't see the video that I dropped above him uh, talking about the units and everything because there's like... There was like 12 or 13 new cards coming for Golden Week, so there's a hell of a ton of things to cover. But talking about the Vegeta specifically, guys, so we have him on Realm of God's team here. He is at 100%, so he'll be performing quite well. Leader ability is Pure Saiyan 3 key, 170% HP and defense, and 130% attack. Now, he's actually on Realm of Gods here because his attack is going to get nerfed by about 20% per lead ability if you run his own lead but uh he actually is a very good lead we have super saiyan 4 goku on a category for the very first time so he should be performing quite well but the buff that he's going to be getting here being super saiyan 4 was only the additional 10 percent uh because right now he only fits on the uh 120 percent lead ability which is his own lead ability and beyond that this is now the best lead ability for him but it's only a 10 percent increase so super saiyan 4 goku will be hitting very hard but it's not going to be a massive jump compared to other units that are on that big 170% leader ability buff. But whatever, that's not the point. So, uh, yeah, so 170% HP and defense and 130% attack, which is actually still very, very good regardless. Uh, super attack, immense damage, greatly lowers defense, just trash, guys. Like, once again, I keep saying it, man, this greatly lowering defense mechanic, it really isn't that great. I mean, it, it, you just re don't really notice it, honestly. Like, you know, when you greatly lower attack, that is noticeable. You can literally see you can literally see the difference in damage uh, received to you. But when you lower defense, you're supposed to hit harder, and I guess you do by a couple hundred more damage or something, maybe a couple thousand. But like, it's not really significant like that, man. Like, I, I would have rather him have like freaking I don't even know, bro. Like, chance to stun, <laughs> like something else, man. Anyways, whatever. So passive attack 120. And defense 60% up unconditional. He has that. All right. This man performs an additional attack um, two times, and every attack increases defense by 7% for a maximum of 70% additional defense. Very good there. And when conditions are met, he evolves. Link said, of course, if you didn't see the video, is actually going to be Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, uh, Warrior Gods, Prepare for Battle, Tournament Power, and Fierce Battle. So, very good unit. Overall solid card uh, does have some very very good perks to him the little perk to where he does raise his defense is very nice uh, Obviously he gets the unconditional 60% defense, so he will be tanking right out the bat But if you do happen to get some attacks going then he'll tank even better So those additional attacks are uh, in the passive. I don't think they can become supers. I don't believe they can be So the additional attacks are just normal basic attacks, but still I mean oh we're transforming look at that man Look at the transformation guys here we go. Blue Evolution. That's a beautiful transformation. That's like... Is that my favorite in the game? It might be. That might be my favorite transformation in the game because... Okay, what do we have? We have the LR Gogeta and Vegito. Those two transform. We have Ultra and Goku. He transforms. Then we have Turles. Um, Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I think Vegeta is my favorite because I just love how it looks. Like, in this... The best final flash in the game. Don't even at me. Look at that final flash. Like, best final flash in the game. In my opinion, best transformation. Look, the aesthetic of it is, you know, beautiful to me. Uh, I love it. So, yeah. Additional attack from the Mount Vegeta. God damn it. He performing quite well here in this showcase. Um, for the most part, well, almost one shot of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there. God damn. So, uh, yeah. So, once he transforms, 
Uh, he does get a bit of a buff, a bit of an increase for the attack and defense and everything. So instead of getting the 120% attack, he gets an additional 10%. So he has 130% attack, plus picking up 130% defense. So he can tank very, very well and hit very, very hard right off the bat once he transforms. Very, very cool. He does keep the additional attacks. So he performs two additional attacks, not supers, basic normal attacks, which is still going to equate to more damage because his basic attacks at Rainbow Star do what? 400k damage without a crit. So two basic attacks is additional, what, 800k damage. If there are crits, that's an additional million. So they're going to matter. They will definitely matter. And his critical chance increases per super attack upwards of an additional 70%. So he's going to be critting a lot. Like, that chance to crit is kind of busted. Just actually kind of insane, to be honest. But, I mean, he has it. He's actually the uh, uh, third card in the game that has an increased chance to crit from the passive. LR Trunks being the first card. Uh, Super Saiyan 2, Kaba Free to Play being the second card. And now this card here has another additional increased chance to crit from his passive. I don't think any other card has that. Uh, any kind of increased chance for anything for, uh, for his crit. Uh, so I think the Vegeta, the... Uh, LR, you know, Super Saiyan Future Trunks, and also the free-to-play Kaba has that increased chance to crit uh, based on a certain circumstances. Uh, of course, Trunks has a high chance, and then Kaba, depending on the ca uh, category units you have in the team, uh, his chance increases. Then Vegeta has to get attacks off and transform for his uh, this, for his critical chance to increase. So, uh, very cool stuff right there. Now, there's a note on uh, the wiki that says, that says for some reason he loses the pure Saiyan category when he transforms. Um, he loses the pure Saiyan category when transform. That's a little wonky. Because he... Okay, well, I don't know. I don't, like, I, I don't know, bro. I guess it doesn't make sense. I guess that might have been a mistake or something. But, like, he can't lose a category, man. I, 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 bruh. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah. So, as you can see, performing quite well. Uh, tank it. 17, 17 damage. Tank takes super attack. So now we're going to see a Doken mode. So, Doken mode should be uh, quite high. Uh, missed the last note. God damn it. But uh, with the critical... You know, uh, neutral damage, but uh, critical, of course, of bypass the, you know, barriers and everything. So, uh, I mean, uh, Rainbow Star, he's not transformed here, unfortunately. I mean, a transformation mechanic into the Doken mode would have been just kind of insane. But uh, he'll still perform quite well. Yeah, it's 6.4 mil no crit base. That is insane. We missed a note as well. We missed the friggin' node, bro. That's crazy. It's kind of insane. So, obviously, with this team here... You know, I'm uh, really trying to activate Prodigies consistently because we have the Beerus and Prodigies. And uh, that's kind of it, honestly. We have Beerus. Um, so, Beerus is the only card on the team here that has Prodigies that we're going to be linking out with Vegeta. Uh, we're activating everything else. You know, Royal Lineage is a key link. That's not too important. Uh, Super Saiyan is an attack link. Warrior God is an attack link. And Fierce Battle is an attack link. And the Super Saiyan Blue Cow Ken Goku activates all those links. This guy shares... Quite a few links in Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku. Uh, being Fierce Battle, being prepared for uh, prepare for battle, being Warrior Gods, and being Super Saiyan. So they are uh, pretty good linking partners. The thing about Kakin Goku man is that he just has that flat passive, bro. And like, I really wish they gave him a percentage. He would have been just so much more viable. But they gave him the flat passive, so he he could have been so much better. But because of flat passive, it does kind of hold him back somewhat, honestly. Uh, but whatever. So right now, for the meantime, Kaken Goku seems to be his uh, best linking partner. Uh, Kaken Goku himself doesn't have the Prodigy's link, but you can put like other units on the team that have that, like for example, a Bears card or maybe another Super Saiyan Vegeta. You know, uh, those units have uh, Prodigies. Um, I think Zamasu, Intelligence Zamasu, does that Prodigies? Probably, maybe, perhaps, uh, perhaps. Um, so ideally, I mean, once again, this team is pretty good for him because you get additional 150% attack up. But another team he fits on is also the Universe Survival Saga team, which, you know, also gives you 150% attack up. And he would actually perform uh, better on that team, honestly, because that team does share the tournament of power link across the board. So that's going to be uh, more consistent super attacks. Whereas this team here, you might run into an issue to where you have LR Bears or whatever kind of Bears you have on the team, uh, having shocking speed, everyone else are freaking prepared for battle. Yeah, you may have some key issues every now and then. But on the uh, Universe Survival Saga team, Everyone with tournament of power, you got some prepared battle over there. So they're going to link up, you know, relatively well. Like, you should have pretty much zero issues super attacking. So here's a situation where we have pretty much every link active that's relevant in terms of attack links. We have Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, First Battle, and Prodigy's active here. So this is all attack links active. 
But obviously type disadvantage here, so if he doesn't crit, then, you know, you're not really going to see uh, what he can really do. I mean, because type disadvantage and everything. Uh, I think he crits 2 million. 2 million damage, bro. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good without being transformed. Pretty, pretty freaking nice. Now, I feel like it would have been a bit cool if these units uh, maybe got increased stats and transformed as well. Uh, maybe a little busted, but for example, if Vegeta transformed, let's say he got an increased attack stat from his base attack. Like, if you rainbow him and he has, like, what, 13,000, 14,000 attack at Rainbow Star, if he transforms and he picked up additional 2,000 to cap with that, like, to cap with that, like, 15,000 or whatever, uh, that would have been cool, but, uh, no, they didn't do that, so, I mean, that's fine, whatever, like, I guess it would have been too busted. Now, here, support unit Topo, 35% attack up, plus he's in the first slot, that's an additional 25% buff right there, so Vegeta's gonna hit quite hard here as well, uh, Potentially one-shotting. Topo, by the way, has one of the best super attacks in the game. Don't even at me. Freaking love it, guys. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you all for watching the video. This card is busted. He really is, guys. I definitely will be doing a summon video when the, uh, when the banner drops. So be on the ready. Be on the lookout. And definitely have the notification turn off for when the video goes live. So you can see my summons and see what happens, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give a like, share, comment down below, guys. No subscribe, make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Look at the Dodgers, man. Goddamn. See you later.